One of the most important developments of the 19th century was the discovery of electromagnetism. This discovery drove a wave of technological innovation that continues today. When you use something powered by electricity, chances are electromagnetism is an essential part of its operation. Electromagnetic fields are created when electricity flows in a conductor. The magnetic needle in this compass moves when the metal wire is connected to a battery, revealing the presence of a magnetic field. When current flows through a coil wrapped around an iron core, the iron core becomes magnetized. This is an electromagnet. Disconnect the battery and the magnetic field collapses. The ability to switch this magnetic field off and on creates some interesting possibilities. For instance, alarm bells like this one use a magnetic field to pull a metal arm which strikes a gong. This action repeats at a fast rate creating the familiar sound of an alarm bell. The repetition is created by a switch built into the mechanism. When these contacts are closed, electricity flows in the coils, creating a powerful magnetic field. This field pulls the arm, striking the gong. The switch is connected to the arm, and it is opened when the arm is pulled. Current flow stops, and the magnetic field collapses. A flat spring returns the arm to its start position. This closes the switch, starting the cycle again. As long as electricity is available, the bell will ring. It is possible to build a working model of a similar device, an electromagnetic buzzer. There are many ways to create a buzzer. Here is one approach. I created a buzzer with these materials, a metal lid from a tin can. This lid contains iron. It is attracted to a magnet. We also need 10 meters of 28 gauge magnet wire, two AA batteries, two four-inch common nails, some wood screws, and some pieces of wood. The first step is to create an electromagnet. This is accomplished by wrapping 10 meters of 28 gauge magnet wire around an iron nail. It is important that the wrapping is all done in the same direction. Leave both ends of the wire exposed. Magnet wire is insulated with a thin layer of enamel. Use sandpaper to remove the insulation from each end of the wire. This exposes the copper metal. I tested this electromagnet with a single AA battery cell. It attracts the metal lid. This is the completed buzzer. When the battery pack is connected, current flows through the nail into the metal lid. Then through the coil creating a magnetic field. This field pulls the metal lid away from the nail contact, opening the switch and stopping the current flow. With no current flowing, the magnetic field collapses and the springy lid bounces back against the nail. Closing the switch, the cycle starts again. The buzzing sound is created by the metal lid rapidly oscillating back and forth. You can probably imagine a number of different ways to design a buzzer system like this. If you design your own, only use a safe, low-voltage, low-current power source. Here are the steps involved in assembling this buzzer. The electromagnet slides into a drilled hole in the wood upright. Its two wires, with heavier connecting wires, are held in place by short wood screws. The metal lid from cans often have a clear coating on them. This has to be sanded off at any points where you need an electrical contact. I held the metal lid in place with a screw, at the same time connecting one wire from the magnetic coil. Another nail is used to create the contact or switch. The nail fits into a hole in the other wood upright. A bared wire laid in the hole provides an electrical contact to the nail. 
Power to the electromagnet is provided by two 1.5 volt AA batteries connected in series. One lead from the battery pack connects to the wire connected to the nail. The other lead from the battery pack connects to the second lead on the electromagnet. I used a jumper cable to complete this connection. It creates a simple switch. To start the buzzer, position the electromagnet so that there is a small one millimeter gap between it and the metal lid. Adjust the other nail so that it touches the metal lid on the side opposite the electromagnet. With the battery connected, the buzzer should start. If it doesn't, adjust the gap between the magnet and the lid. Make sure that any insulation is removed from the spot where the nail contacts the lid. This buzzer is designed to work with two 1.5 volt AA batteries. If you attempt to build something like this, don't use any other power source. Higher voltages and currents are dangerous, causing overheating, even electrical shocks, and never experiment with anything that plugs into a wall outlet. Even this low voltage battery pack can create excessive heat if short circuited. If you are unsure, ask for advice from your teacher or a knowledgeable adult. This buzzer also demonstrates something else, spark gap wireless communication. When a buzzer like this is operating, sparks occur at the contact point. These sparks generate radio waves, electromagnetic radiation. You can detect this radiation with an AM radio. Early Morse code wireless radio transmission was accomplished with spark gap generators. The principle is demonstrated by this buzzer. For more science and technology related videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.